Okay, we 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 are starting from uh, the uh, the measuring the measuring mean measuring of uh, measuring voltage. We go to measuring voltage. Remember, we are still under under the CLRO. We are still under the CLRO. We are still under the CLRO where we. Uh, we are on the topic known as the introductory electrons. We looked at the CLRO, we looked at all the parts. Now we are going to measuring voltage. So the CLRO can be used as the, it can be used as the, it can be used as the voltmeter. The CLRO can be used as the voltmeter. It can be used as the voltmeter. be used as the voltmeter so it can be used as the voltmeter and the next point is that it can measure both the alternative current and also the direct current voltages so we have also it measures the peak voltage of the AC, the alternative current input signals. So the Y gain setting indicates the voltage applied in order to deflect the beam by one centimeter on the screen in the vertical direction. Then we have if Y gain setting is five V is five V volts per centimeter this means that uh, one uh, this means that one centimeter of the height on the screen shows five volt of the input the input uh, signal this means that uh, one centimeter it shows that so for example uh, what we are saying here is that if we have five v centimeter meaning five volts per centimeter this means that to every one centimeter there is 5v volts for example we are told that the diagram shows the screen of the CLRO which diagram this diagram this side here this side okay that diagram we have there where I'm trying to highlight with a green color where we have 3 centimeter there the Y gain setting is 3v stroke cm the question is, what is the peak voltage applied to the Y input of the CLRO? So, what we have there is that Y gain, which is 3V stroke centimeter, is such that we have uh, 3V is equal to 1 centimeter. Then we have the, the peak voltage, which will be the XV is equal to 3 centimeter. Where 3 centimeters is coming from? Because of what I have highlighted there. The green color there. It is 3. What we have been given there is 3 centimeters. But what we know is that 3V, 3V, this one there, the 3V is equal to, the 3V is equal to, is equal to 1 centimeter. So if you cross multiply, we will find that the voltage for 3 centimeters is 9. Because 3 times 3, it gives us 9. So that is what we have. We go to the next example. We are told that the gain control of a CLRO is set as 2V per second or per centimeters. This means that, this means that, this means that, this means that uh, 2 or we can say 1 centimeter is equal to 2V. This means that 1 centimeter is equal to 2V. What about the V? We don't know. Okay, if the horizontal trace is deflected upwards by 5 centimeters, what is the unknown voltage applied to the Y input of the CLRO? What about the 5 centimeters? 1 centimeter is equal to 2. 5 centimeters is equal to we don't know. So the answer will be 10. 2 times 5 
the answer will be 10, as shown into that diagram. As shown into that diagram. As shown into that diagram, where we have a solution. So that is what we have. Uh, that is what we have. So we move to the next one. The next one is measuring. The next one is on the measuring. On the measuring. Uh, measuring short time interval. Measuring short time interval. CLRO can be used to measure short time interval. Time base setting indicates the, the time needed for the light spot to sweep through one centimeter on the screen in the horizontal direction. We are, we, are, we are done with the voltage, now we are going to the time. So we are dealing with the time now. So we are dealing with the time. How do we measure the time, the time interval? We have example there where we are told that if, if the time base setting, if the time base setting, if the time base setting is 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 e five e uh, five e minutes per centimeters, it means that one centimeter of the horizontal horizontal length on the screen shows five e mini seconds or milliseconds not minutes 5v milliseconds that is what we have that is what it shows okay, so that is what we have then we have an example there the diagram shows the screen of the CLRO the time base is set to 5v milliseconds per centimeter that is what we have what is the period of the input AC what is the period of the input AC signal? And what is the frequency of the input AC signal? What is the period of the input signal? And what is that? So we are going to have that the time base, which is 5V. We have 5 there per second. I mean per centimeters. Then we have 4 centimeters there. So we'll find that the, the centimeters for 5 milliseconds, it will be 20. Uh, it will be 20. That is what we have. It will be 20. Okay? Not the centimeters, but the, the milliseconds for, for 4 centimeters, it will be 20 milliseconds. That is the answer for what is the period of the input AC. The period of the input AC is equals to 5 or is equals to the milliseconds time multiplied by the, the centimeters. So that is the answer we have, which is 5 times 4. Then for B, we are told that uh, we are finding what is the frequency of the input of AC. Remember, frequency is equal to 1 over the period. From the previous topic, see, we have covered so far. We have discovered that period frequency is equal to uh, 1 over the period. So having known the period that the period is 20, having known that the period is 20, maybe because we are dealing with the frequency, the frequency is that uh, uh, it should be the period, the, it is in his. The frequency is always in hertz. So we are going to convert that uh, the milliseconds. We will convert those milliseconds into seconds. We are going to convert those milliseconds into seconds. So we divide by 1,000 because there are 1,000 seconds. We have converted that period into seconds. So no wonder we have 0 0.02. Okay, then from there, now we say 1 over 0 0.02. 1 over 0 0.02. What do we have? What do we have?
what we have is that the answer is 50 Hz. The answer we get is 50 Hz. Okay, so that is the answer. We have these two questions. Let us try to answer these two questions. We have the exercise there. Let us work it out and share with me the answers you get. Otherwise, we end here. Thank you so much. And see you in our next week of the month of April. I mean of the month of May, where we are going to look at the atomic physics. We'll look at the atomic physics. Thank you so much. Please work out these questions. Thank you.